Paul Wright is a self-employed gas fitter with two very different hobbies. We visited him at his Te Atatū workshop to have a chat with him about them. Why did you start racing? Uh, well, it's actually funny. When I was 18, um, my cousin started dating uh, a mechanic that worked on the car. Well, they actually worked on this car um, when I was 18 years. And I sort of turned up one day, they, they took me down there to have a look and never left. Um, and when I was 29, I bought the car off the guy that I put it on for the Yeah, it's, it's, it's an expensive sport. Any, any motorsport's expensive, but it's really fun. <laughs> How does racing compare to bowls, and how do you balance the two? <laughs> it's a lot different to bowls. Um, obviously, I've been um, playing bowls a lot longer than I've been racing, so I'm very competitive in the car, even though I don't win things. How long have you been playing bowls? Uh, I think I was about 13, um, somewhere around there. I was. It was. When I was at school, mum and dad didn't let me sort of go only in holidays when I had holidays um, until I really sort of came out of school and then it was my own choice. What do you enjoy most about bowls? Um, I enjoy the, the competitiveness and the, the fun you can have with your teams. Um, look, I, I know people all over the country through the game of window bowls, so it's, it really opens up more of a country for you. Um, like there's probably nowhere I could go in this country that I couldn't get a bed somewhere. What are some of the highlights about playing bowls? Um, highlights, obviously playing for your country, uh, for New Zealand. I managed to to achieve that feat last year, which was just amazing. Um, only you know, seven men in New Zealand get a chance to do it every two years. Do you have a role model that you've looked up to while you've been playing bowls? There is a few. Um, Leon Bates obviously was one. He, he was in Auckland. He was really good for me. He took me out. Murray Bryant, he was a great bowler back in his days and he took me out with my mate um, Richard Keddie, you know, he, he took us out and taught us the game. Um, and you know, living legend Patrick Holt would have to be one of the most looked upon person in, in bowls I'd say. You know, he's, he's, he's a legend, so probably in three of the biggest ones. Give us an idea of the party culture of bowls. It's not like it's a rave or anything, you know, but you have a few drinks afterwards and you enjoy it and you know, play the music and it's really good. What advice would you give to someone looking to start playing bowls? Advice, um, try and get the family in the game. Um, and most of us that have come through from the younger days have come through from the family. Like my mum and my dad and my nana, they all play bowls. Um, so I'll sort of follow through from that. It's just, it's a good family sport so uh, everyone can do it. Doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. As long as you can sort of bend down and stand back up, you'll be fine. You can do it.